All right, so uh, this is printer repairs back with the new uh, repair and what seems to be what has been told to us that seems to be the problem is that uh, on this UV printer the UV lamp is not lighting up so probably either the cable flat cable which is power supply for the UV lamp or the lamp itself something is uh, cable could be broken and the lamp could be uh, could be damaged or simply uh, electronics on on it would be stop working or something like that so probably what we we still we we are doing this a long time we still didn't encounter the problem where the lamp is dead but most of the times uh, the flat cable needs to be replaced so probably that's the problem here also and so now we're gonna go ahead and remove this cover and see test the cable first to see if uh, anything's gonna change when we put the new flat cable in for the power supply of the lamp so let's go ahead and do do all that uh, it is quite a simple problem but requires quite a lot of disassembling and assembling and so on so it's not that easy to do so and of course you have to do it right because you have to release the cable harness to insert the new cable inside so quite a bit of work for for uh, let's say a simple problem but it needs to be done and we will show you how to do it because we can repair printer for it for, for you if you're close to us but if you're on another continent or something like that we cannot help you so that's where the videos if you find any use of them can help you so this is we've unscrewed the cover but there's still uh, one cable connection which is for this uh, that disconnected and we have to put the cover up so we have to be careful not to damage pipe or connection so we got that off and now uh, the easiest way to, to test if the cable is uh, if something is wrong with the cable is simply to disconnect this power supply over here connect the other cable from the outside and connect it directly to the motherboard so that's plain simple way to come to the quick conclusion what could be wrong over there so let's just release release this uh, zip tie you gotta be careful not to cut the power supply that's okay and now we will remove the tape be sure that the printer is unplugged it is check that one more time um, not a lot of space to move your fingers around the cable so we got the 
connector out, cable out, so now we're gonna put the other cable inside and just try to hold it hold it in the arms while the head is moving plug that in okay so now we have to find uh, the connector from behind which goes to the to the power supply let me just find it where it is there's a, some things are a bit different than usual on this printer but we're gonna find it nevertheless so actually actually the the power supply seems to be seems to be plugged or drawn di directly from this uh, board on the right which is not usually how this is uh, done on this printers but it is done like that on this one so we have to we have to follow the cable that will be this cable which is plugged to this board usually not the case pretty much so let's see if we uh, have the same kind of cable over here do the pins match yeah pins match perfectly so now what we have to do is plug that in instead again not too much space for doing all this quite crampy quite crampy I'm gonna have to go a bit on blind over here hopefully I can make it yeah got it so now what we can do is hold the cable up like this and maybe it would not be too much to isolate the contact which we have it open over there because we don't want it to, to touch any metal parts while it's while the head is moving let me see I just need a little bit just to, to cover the contact again so all right so now we can we can have a go let me just check that one more time if i've turned it properly i did okay all good let's try it out and actually this printer we can try it out but uh, this printer has the automatic turn on when you start printing so actually what we'll have to do is to start up our computer to test the uh, lamp going on so let me just do that first and I'll be back with you so now we got everything prepared on the computer and we're gonna 
turn this switch on so now uh, when the printer starts printing the lamp will automatically light up so now we just have to wait for the document to come into memory and to see what's gonna happen for now everything seems to be in in order So, there you have it, nothing. And so now, uh, since we are thinking that possibly maybe this uh, board for power supply of the lamp is not working, we got the lamp connected through the same cable of this printer we are trying to repair on another uh, power board of another printer, so you can see here. The power supply from this printer is connected so when this printer starts printing if everything's okay with the cable and the lamp on this printer the lamp will light up and the head won't be moving actually this printer will think that uh, it's printing with the lamp but the power supply is connected to this printer so if everything's gonna be okay this lamp on this printer will light up and that's what we are aiming to do to test the the cable and original cable connected to the lamp and the lamp itself if there's no problem with that and the lamp lights up then there's only one thing left to do to fix the electronics on this board supplying the lamp so that's what we're gonna check now but of course we cannot use this board instead of that we will use the board on this printer so let's just uh, wait and see if the when the document goes to memory all right there so you see nothing is wrong with the lamp itself and the cable it's this electronics we will have to dismantle and try to fix the electronics on the board something is wrong with the electronics over there so now as you can see this one is printing but the lamp is lighting up on that one and when we switch it off here 
we switch it off over there so we've determined where the problem lies so now we'll try to fix it uh, we've checked one more time we've checked this cable for UV power supply and because uh, we were uh, still it was very sketchy that the motherboard over here uh, has some problems on it because we uh, the whole time we were doing and we were doing the UVs pretty pretty long time let's say seven or eight, or eight years I've never had any problems with uh, the uh, power supply for the lamp and some other function functions are uh, unified on this board so we went ahead and check the cable one more time this is the original cable this is the one we've put put on for testing and actually uh, actually the lamp was working so the main issue is still with the cable uh, when we tested the cable and the lamp on the other electronic the lamp did light up and that's the reason because it light up is because the head carrier or the head was static and when the head is static like this the cable uh, stands straight so this is the position where the uh, current is still flowing through the cable but the soon as soon as uh, head starts moving left and right uh, the light will keep uh, shutting down or won't turn on at all and then we can hear some clicking here but that's because uh, the current here gets uh, the, the circle the circle of the current uh, becomes broken so probably some there's some damage on the cable over here where it's moving the most so uh, and when when I plugged in first time this cable to check just the cable I probably because there's some uh, very very little space to move your fingers and hands around very crampy place from behind I probably didn't plug it uh, plug it in too deep probably or if it was pulled cable was pulled to the side left and right probably didn't make the right contact over there so we didn't see the lamp light up but the main issue is still the cable so that's what we're gonna uh, change now and what we have to do is to get rid of this old cable and uh, actually this cable is more uh, uh, more more sturdier more more thicker I'd say than this one so uh, the thicker the cable is the sooner it will break during the work but it's not it's not all that bad thing because uh, when you break cable uh, when the cable breaks from working you surely did some uh, job with it and make some money so that's not all too too bad so but you need to replace it from time to time and uh, if you look on the bright side you've seen how that could be tested there are some other methods too but this is surely the shortest one or the quickest one so now what we have to do to get to get to this uh, cable harness over here behind the carrier for the power supply and the main board we, we actually have to dismantle keyboard carrier this carrier already mentioned and paper roll this is not complete paper roll this is part of paper roll but we also get 
need to get rid of that so how all that is done we will now show you so let's go ahead one by one we will disconnect the power cable this is the cable we have to pull out so how do you how do you get rid of the keyboard maybe maybe we don't have to unscrew this part we just need to to unplug it and maybe we will see will it just come come off with the carrier for power supply i think that's what we that would be enough so let's disconnect all these cables we have to do that if we want to get all that out so actually we have to disconnect this cable we're gonna put instead so these are the cables for the board some other stuff cable 3 actually goes around here there's some different approaches with mounting cables on this printer than usual but we will try to put everything back as it was as it was in uh, previous position such as this this is one cable that goes over here but goes to the lower board so we'll just try to skip that if we can actually So these are all the cables and cable for the, for the keyboard is plug bin, plugged beneath we just have to pull it to the left so let's see if we can get only the carrier out without dismantling this keyboard four screws on the back we want to show you the shortest way but sometimes it's good to disassemble all the pieces it's easier but let's try without disassembling the keyboard because those screws are on a somewhat difficult position out actually this cable could go over here that's right and this could be going upwards this is the old cable no this is the keyboard cable all right, and this is the old cable. It's uh, what's this? Yeah, this is the 
sensor cable so <laughs> maybe 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 it's best oh we can plug it out over here it has a connector okay that's good news and we got it out and let me see it's stick to this carrier and there we got that so there this is the cable for sensor on the keyboard and this is actually where we plugged out the cable for the keyboard and this longer cable is cable for power supply for the uv lamp and we're gonna be getting rid of it as soon as we uh, reach the cable harness which is this part over here and something this glued over here we will try to move that out of the way because it might be doing some problems that's okay what else so now as you can see the harness goes uh, behind the paper roll so what we need to do is to at least at least try to move this paper roll a bit to the back if it's gonna go that way and to do that we have screw over here if we won't be able to do anything anything with it the best thing maybe maybe the best thing right away is to get rid of the whole paper roll and one more thing if we want to move the paper roll or at least pull it to the back is to get rid of these two holders and these two holders have the screw from the front side maybe if you've watched any other videos maybe you've seen how this is dismantled those screws are basically not important or should I say those holders we won't be mounting them back because surely in a due time there will be there will be some other repairs hate it when that happens but it's not important because we won't be putting them back we just have to see oh there it is be sure to pull out every last part during the during the mount so these are extra not necessary and maybe maybe we could pull this up but first we have to remove this big screws over there so for that we will need a pair of pliers and maybe a bigger screwdriver 